Hey friends, thank you for the profound privilege of representing you and your families in our nation's capital. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you and happy Veterans Day to all Americans who have selflessly served in uniform in defense of our great country, our values, and our freedom. As we come together today to celebrate our heroes, we must remember the tremendous sacrifices that they made, not only that they made, but their families as well, especially the Gold Star families. We admire your courage and commitment, and we are thankful for all you have done. And while we can never repay the debt we owe you and your families for your service, we will do our part, and I will do my part to make sure that in America we have a culture that honors and respects those in uniform and our veterans throughout the generations. You will not be forgotten. You're a monument of courage and valor and patriotism and all that's good about the United States of America. I love what President John F. Kennedy said. The cost of freedom is always high, but Americans have always paid it. And one path, he said, we will never choose is the path of surrender or submission, thanks to you. We know that the world would be a very different place today if it weren't for America's strength, values, and a few good men and women who risked their lives to defend it. With the holiday season now quickly approaching, I'm mindful of the fact that there are many currently standing guard in defense of our freedom, and uh, we are so grateful for what they do for our country. And we pray, and I encourage everyone, pray for their protection, pray for comfort for their families, pray for their success, because not only this nation depends on it, but freedom-loving people around the world. Um, thank you again for the privilege and honor of representing you. Uh, may God bless you and your families. May God bless the United States of America and go West Texas.